Hello friends, this is Kyle from Teacher's Teacher, and in this video we are looking at the very basics of Gmail, or Google's emailing system. Now, what I'm going to do to start off here, I'm going to go ahead and go to my incognito tab, so Control shift n and I'm going to log in to my Google account that I created in the last video, and the Google account that I'm going to use throughout the remainder of this course. So if I go to accounts.google.com and I hit enter, it's going to have me sign in. And let's see, teacher Kyle 80, I believe, is my new email and my password. So I'm signed in. Now this should look familiar where we ended with the last video. So this video is all about the very, very basics of Gmail, right? How do we use Gmail? How do we send emails within this Gmail messaging system? So I'm going to find my uh, little Google app button, my little waffle up here. I'm going to go ahead and click that. Now I moved Gmail up to the top left in the last video. So it's right here and very easily accessible to me. So I'm going to go ahead and click Gmail. Now you'll notice that this actually opens up a complete new window. So I still have this tab over here at the top. And then now I have this new application opened up. And this is the basic layout of uh, Gmail. So there's a couple things that I wanna cover and I wanna start with the very basics of just how do I actually create a, uh, an email, right? How do, I, how do I create a message that I can send to somebody else, whether I'm sending it to the principal, a uh, parent, another teacher, etc. Now you'll notice up at the top left, and a lot of Google th Google things nowadays are you know very simple. They're very you know easily laid out, uh, and they're very customizable. But you'll notice that up here in the top left, I have this button that says Compose. So this is uh, the button that I need to click to compose an actual email message. So the separate box pops up uh, towards the bottom right of the screen. And then I have a couple options here because this actually shows up to, uh, or this box pops up and it's actually kind of small compared to the full uh, size of my screen. Now, if I want to make, if I want to make this a little bit bigger, I can click this uh, full screen button and it'll pop it up like this. And then if I want to make it smaller, I can always click that again uh, to bring it back down. Now, just to make things easy, I'm going to have it a little bit bigger. And uh, this is just basic format of Gmail, right? So let's say I want to send uh, an email saying you know that we have a meeting today at 3 p.m and i'm going to send it to this random fake email address here subject um, meeting today and i'm not going to do that in all caps it's probably not the best meeting info for today So what did I just do? So I put in the email address of the person that I'm sending this to up at the top. And I just made up this random email. It's not actually real. And then um, there's always a subject line. So you know the, the subject that the person's going to see within that. And then after that, I have this whole field of text down here where I am actually um, you know, writing the actual message that I want to send. OK, now if this was ready to go, I would just go ahead and click send. I can hit control enter and then this would be sent automatically. So this is just the basics of creating an email. Now, while, while we're still here, I want to go over just a couple other basic things uh, within this box that I think are super important. Okay. Now, if we click up at the top right here, you'll notice that I have the one uh, email that's being sent uh, or I'm sending the email to this person. And if I scroll all the way to the right over here, there's these two other buttons that pop up. One of them says CC. And the other one says BCC. Now, the CC button, that stands for carbon copy. So if I want to send a copy of this email to another person, to a different email address, I can click this. And then you'll see that there's a separate section here for CC. So I want to send that to uh, person two. And then I would just then be sending that. So I'm sending the email to person one. But then I'm sending a copy of this email, a copy of this, uh, you know, this information to person two. Now I have another option over here that says BCC, 
and this means blind carbon copy. So the cool thing about blind carbon copy is if I did this, so if I did, um, so person2 at gmail.com, and then person3 at gmail.com, and then person4 at gmail.com. So if I were to do this, if I get rid of the CC, what's happening? So I'm still sending the message to this uh, specific person, so person one. But what I did was that I made, uh, or I'm sending additional copies to these three other people, but I'm sending them blindly, which means that person number two is gonna get a copy of this message, and they're not gonna be able to tell that I also sent it to person three, and that I also sent it to person four. So the BCC is a really good way to send a bunch of different people the same information, but then to not have them know that you sent that information to anybody else, right? Because if I were to add all of these names here to uh, up here at the top, then they, could, they, they would be able to see that I actually sent this email to person one, person two, person three, and person four. But if I moved it down here, oh man, does somebody actually have this email address? Oh yeah, person four. That's actually hilarious, so I'm not gonna actually send this if these are real. I thought these were fake. So let's just actually send this to uh, myself here. TeacherKyle80 at gmail.com. Okay, so we talked about BCC and or the carbon copy and the blind carbon copy. So we also have some other options down here, and this should look familiar if you you know use Google Docs or like you know Microsoft Word or anything like that. So we have a bunch of options to actually uh, alter our text, and if we want to make things stand out, if we want to make things bigger, etc. You know we can we have those options at the bottom to alter the text so if I highlight a certain piece of the email I can go right here and I could actually make that a lot larger or a lot smaller depending on you know what you're looking for what kind of message you're trying to send so this is a reminder I could make it bold and I can also change the color I like changing the background color in emails it makes it um, makes it look a little bit better Let's change this to red, right? We want this to stand out. So this is a reminder that we have a meeting today at three. I'm gonna do today. No, this is just like, okay, I'm not gonna make it that big. Large. We have a meeting today at 3.30 in the library, right? So there's all these different things that you can play around with as far as, you know, what kind of message are you trying to send? What parts of your message do you wanna emphasize? If you're sending a really, really long message, what I do is I kind of break it apart, color code things, just so it's easier for the reader. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and send this to myself. So I'm gonna click send, and then you'll see that immediately, now I have one new message in my inbox, which is actually from me. So I see the subject here, and then I start to see the actual content of the message itself. Now there's two other things that I wanna go over. Uh, the first thing is that I have this search bar up at the top here. And what we need to understand about Google and all of these Google applications, including Gmail and Calendar and Drive and all these different things, is that Google started off as a search engine. That is primarily what they do, that is what they've been doing the longest, right? So if I open this up and I go to google.com, this is a search engine, right? And I can search for almost anything online. Now this, the features within this search engine and the algorithms that they use to, uh, you know, identify what you're actually searching for, the same process and some of the same algorithms actually go into the, um, the search here within your, within your mail system, right? So let's say that you know, you've had this Gmail account for a really long time and you have like thousands and thousands of emails that haven't been deleted and all this stuff and you just wanna search for one of them. Well, you can type in an actual person's uh, email address. So, like person1 at gmail.com, like if I were to send it, you know, or if I had received emails from that person and I could just look them up very quickly, or you could just search keywords if you want. Like, oh, I know somebody sent me something with money or uh, invitation. I can search that. Now I don't have any emails because this account is brand new, but those would pop up, right? Now also on the right side over here is a drop down arrow for a filter. So this is an even greater searching tool if you have thousands and thousands of emails and you wanna just look for one specific thing. So you could search um, you know, where the emails are coming from, who they were actually sent to, keywords in the subject line, words that actually aren't part 
uh, of the email or the subject line, etc. And then some other options to play around with as well. And then you could search that with a specific filter. Now, lastly, I just want to talk about uh, just a few settings that I think are pretty cool. So first of all, if you click this gear at the top right, this kind of drops, uh, drops down your settings for Gmail. Now the first one is the uh, inbox, uh, or, or sorry, the second one is the configure inbox button. So if you click on this, it actually gives you a couple different options as far as you know how your inbox or how do you want the inbox to be split up and how you want everything to look. So if I hit cancel and if I go back to my inbox here, I have three tabs at the top and this is just kind of what's given at the base and at the start. So my primary messages are right here, but then I also have another tab for social. So this is like emails from any social networks or media or anything like that. Like if you have Facebook hooked up, you could actually, you know, set it up to where all your Facebook messages will, are, are going to come in on the social tab, which is separate from your primary tab. So it kind of keeps everything like in its own lane. And then we also have this one for promotions as well. So if you want to get rid of these, you can, you go up here to settings, you go to configure inbox, and then you can just click all these on and off. So I'm going to turn social and promotions off. I'm going to hit save. And then you'll notice that now I just have my general inbox. Okay, so you can play with that. And then finally, what I think is pretty cool is looking at different themes. I know that sometimes just like the background, the white background isn't the best for everybody. Maybe it's a little bit hard on your eyes and you want to change it. So if you go to uh, the settings gear and you go down to the fourth option, which is themes, and click on that. Google has a bunch of different options that you can pick from, whether it be solid colors or some actual images in the background. So if I click all these leaves and I hit save, so you know, just kind of changing the theme around. Now that seems like a little much to me, so I'm not going to leave it like that. I usually go for these uh, the solid co colors, maybe like a soft gray, or if you want to have like a dark mode, you can click on uh, the dark mode as well. It kind of flips all the colors around and makes it a little bit easier to see. I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.